The commission had cause to apologize last week following errors in its infographic in the ongoing exercise. After another of such a mistake, the commission says it has been forced to change the personnel responsible for the data. We are equal to not happy, although the errors are very, very significant. The latest one we have to do the challenge cases, the number of challenge cases, although extremely significant because they have no bearing on the total wages. We still think that we have done good to them, that, but we, we hold ourselves to a very high standard. On the slide dedicated to providing information on the challenge cases for the first 11 days, the Commission apologizes for the error. The Commission has since made changes to the team charged with the responsibility of preparing the infographics. Additionally, we have put in place more rigorous methods in the preparation of the infographics. Touching on concerns for an extension of the registration process, the Commission said it was not up for consideration. We have 21 fees we need to register admittance. But in our uh, briefing, we stated that with the first week, we actually have the law people in the queue register. And we stated that, that if you go to some of the registration centers, you find that it's something like the work day, we are not actually recording very high gaps in some the registration works of risk. So it is for me to write these. And uh, if you go to most of the centers, you cannot only see that this situation used not to be in the first week. So the you don't actually think that and this time it's even um feasible for anyone to call them access. Following yet another allegation of the use of stolen biometric registration kit for the ongoing exercise, the Commission, while denying the claims, dared the group to provide evidence to substantiate the claim. The Commission's decision not to disclose what it considers security sensitive information cannot be misconstrued as providing a cover for the Commission to register voters from some undisclosed location. We challenge the Election Watch Ghana to provide information on locations where they believe this illegal registration is going on. The Commission urges the political parties who are key stakeholders in the electoral process to publish their collated daily registration figures from all gazetted registration centers and inform the public if the figures published by the Commission do not reflect the number of voters registered at the gazetted registration centers. 522,025 persons have been registered after 13 days of the current exercise.